The first annual AT&T Nations Football Classic kicked off in Washington, D.C. on Saturday, September the 10th, 2011. Howard University and Morehouse College rekindled their historic football rivalry, but events throughout the weekend proved that it's always more to the game than just football. On Thursday afternoon, Big Tigger helped fans get pumped up for the game at the AT&T store in Chinatown. Sunny in the city, it's your boy Big Tigger doing big things downtown with AT&T, getting ready for the AT&T Nations Football Classic, popping off HU versus Morehouse. We at the AT&T store on 7th and HD's right here in Chinatown. Fans won tickets, played games, and ate free food, all thanks to AT&T. Howard University's Crampton Auditorium hosted a day-long educational forum called the Presidential Symposium, Beyond the Stereotypes, Academics, Athletics, Character, and the Black Male Achievement. There needs to be a different kind of conversation about how we're learning, what we're learning, and why we're learning. And that's why I'm here. These are two institutions of higher learning. So while athletics are an important, vital component of it, there's also the intellectual side. So this event is special because it's bringing all of that together. The United Negro College Fund partnered with Events DC to bring its Empower Me Tour to the Classic Weekend. I am real excited to be here to empower you. This is, uh, this is an exciting moment for me. It's something that is very dear to my heart. It's about empowering you with information, with resources for success, so you are in for a great treat. On Friday, Howard University hosted a student debate that reminded us that the weekend wasn't just about athletic competition, it's intellectual too. The game before the game focused on the issues ranging from cyberbullying to college athletes receiving compensation. On side opposition, we understand, first of all, that there are already laws to cover the crimes that they mentioned, like Tyler Clemente's death. I talked about libel, I talked about blackmail, I talked about slander, I talked about harassment, internet stalking, all those things are already covered under law. So why do we need additional laws against cyberbullying? It simply doesn't make sense. Something that you were talking about is this kind of sense that a lot of these athletes are more athletes than students. If their goal is to be a student athlete and they want to concentrate on their athletics more so than their, um, than their education, then that's their decision. Grammy award-winning artists Sean Diddy Combs and platinum recording artist Jermaine Dupree join radio host Big Tigger for the inaugural AT&T kickoff rally. I'm an alumni of Howard University and um, this was always our biggest game, Howard versus Morehouse. And I, I've come to pledge my allegiance and support my alumni and, and represent Team HU. We had a great pep rally here that AT&T sponsored, and it, and, it, and it was just great. Or getting all the kids together, um, having the drum lines go against each other, the cheerleads compete in a, a cordial way. So I'm here to represent Team HU, and Jermaine Dupree is here to represent Team Morehouse. I'm, I'm representing Morehouse today. Yeah, all know I'm... I'm I, I mean, hey, I'm from the ATL. I got to do what I got to do. What? Hey, what do? That's what we do. What? It's such a beautiful thing to see two of the best schools in the world come together, two of the best African-American schools come together in love and in unity. So Morehouse and H, you make some noise together one time. Nice. Give it up for Jermaine Dupree and Diddy in the building. Game day finally arrived and the festivities started early with the Pepsi Max Fan Festival outside RFK Stadium. Students, alumni, and community members all gathered to enjoy the games, music, giveaways, and booths before heading into the stadium for the big game. What's happening is Fonsworth Bentley, aka the Cool Outrageous Love of Uniquely Raw Style. And it is the AT&T Nations Football Classic. Oh yeah, Morehouse, Howard, we're doing it big. From an MC battle to the double dutch, from the boots to the dance floor, the Pepsi Max Fan Festival and its sponsors got everyone pumped about the game. It was finally game time at RFK Stadium, where over 18,000 eager fans rushed in to claim their seats and show their pride.
The Howard University Bison and the Morehouse College Maroon Tigers took the field, both looking to win the inaugural AT&T Nations Football Classic. I'm thinking that you love these last two gambles that the team has made. We are now only down by three. Morehouse grads are talking so much smack out there, and they're all quiet now. If you see them right now, they're just sitting there looking really docile. <laughs> so I'm trying to contain it and hold it all in, because I want to go out there and start talking smack back. All right, let's talk about your HBCU experience. How do you think the experience you had at Howard University has helped you in Hollywood? Well, I'm going to tell you, you know, one thing about Howard, you know, is it's called the Mecca for a reason. You know, when you're there, you get to, to see so many graduates that have gone on and be successful in so many different arenas, and it just lets you know, it really solidifies in your spirit and in your soul that you're going to be able to do the same thing they've done and more, because they're kicking down doors for us as I'm kicking down doors for other grads. Throughout the game, players were encouraged by both teams' marching bands, cheerleaders, and fans. The crowd also enjoyed an energetic and entertaining halftime show sponsored by Target. Hey everybody, I'm AJ Calloway and I'm here with Keisha Knight Pulliam and we're your hosts for the Target Halftime Show and the Battle of the Bands. It's time to get your Target Bullseye Cheer cards ready. Are y'all ready to show who y'all rooting for? Y'all going for the maroon or y'all going for the blue? Maroon! So Keisha, who do you think the winner is going to be? Will it be Howard University Showtime Band? I don't know, I don't know, AJ! Come on, AJ! I must say I'm partial. I'm rooting for the Morehouse Maroon Tigers. In the end, it was the Howard Bison defeating the Morehouse Maroon Tigers 30 to 27 in the first ever AT&T Nations Football Classic. But as we've learned over the years, the weekend is more than just a game. It's a time to celebrate the cultural significance of HBCU schools and their football heritage. It's a showcase of tradition, service, unity, achievement, and academics of these prominent institutions.